as all of you are very, very familiar with, I have been devastated since the love of my life, Victoria Ciro, my Russian model vegan girlfriend, disappeared off YouTube, later to be seen on TikTok, uh, continuing her vegan nonsense recipes. But we have an incredibly suitable replacement, guys. She's Russian. She has abs. I mean, guys, guys, there's an egg. Look, if we see beef in this video, if we see a nice juicy steak, I'm going to have to find her next week and propose to her. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be sure to remember my stilts, but um, let's see what happens. I like to eat. So this is a really overlooked, you know, radiation thing. People sleeping with their cell phones on next to their heads. You know, put the phone on airplane mode, turn it off, get a separate alarm because it's a good basic first step to get people feeling better and understanding that the radiation from these modern devices is harmful. Then, you know, they take it a step further. They start shielding things, whether it's sleeping in a Faraday cage, buying protective clothing, but big no-no. <laughs> okay, okay. I think this uh, lovely young lady is a little out of my price range. Plus, you know, uh, she's wearing a wedding ring and uh, I don't feel like uh, getting shanked by a bunch of Russian dudes on my way down to work on Monday. So I think I'll try to be a little polite uh, when I do this video. morning people i am so amazed how beautiful this morning is it's may and usually for me it's very unusual that it wouldn't be that hot and today is like perfect perfect temperature i wish the camera would translate it to you how nice and pleasant this morning is welcome back to another video of mine this time is gonna be your favorite favorite video what i did in a day i haven't done it in forever so stay tuned guys today will be a lot of eating cooking a lot of fun stuff i'm gonna rush quickly to the shower now so she's a model she obviously has some experience with cameras and by judging her house it's probably a very very expensive camera but you know we know she's not doing the editing work herself and judging by how she's holding the camera and what she's doing with it yeah she's probably paying some people to do these videos and you know there's a lot of cinematic uh, quality to this and a lot of kind of talking so we're just going to kind of skip to the the meal stuff Otherwise, we'll be sitting here for about an hour. Which toys is it? Oh, it's Adam's family toy. That's cool. I'm on my way to drop Allegra off to school. All right, so she didn't even she didn't even say what that is. It, it looks like some type of uh, green. Well, it's obviously green juice with some powder in it, and it makes you wonder. You know, even these really really wealthy attractive models are drinking this slop nonsense so are they putting on a show for the camera or do they genuinely believe this stuff is good for them because all that stuff is going to do is destroy their liver you know so many anti-nutrients it doesn't have calories whatever type of chemical powder she's putting in there i can't even read that agent nature so if i was actually going to guess i would have just said it's probably a collagen supplement but that is actually what it is but this is super expensive this is like a a 100 bag of basically chemical powders they put marine collagen in there they're saying it's very high in minerals but as i've spoken about in past videos on collagen the most important things are having a lot of animal protein in the diet for the cellular health and then vitamin c ascorbic acid so you could literally have you know just a banana with some vitamin c or some lemon juice and that would be way 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 healthier than this you're not dousing your stomach with the anti-nutrients and the flavonoids and the green juice you're not taking all these powder chemicals but they make a lot of money that's for sure Yeah, yeah, honestly, just, just spilling that much powder on the table, that's probably, what is that, a few dollars worth of powder with how expensive that is? 
to drop Allegra off to school so I just have one minute so I always have a green juice in the morning and an espresso or I'll make a cappuccino depending on my mood and then I will come back and if I'm really hungry I'll have a breakfast so cheers and I actually put their collagen pearl powder that I've been using for about two months okay so she's bringing it up we just spoke about it and of course all these people are using caffeine coffee espresso if you're really healthy, even if you're not sleeping that well, if your diet's in check, if your supplement's in check, if you're not deficient in anything, you should be able to wake up out of bed and feel good, you know? And if you do need a boost, taking those things like vitamin C or magnesium is, to me, just as effective as coffee. Really, really good high-quality collagen powder, and I've been really loving the results. There's no such thing as high-quality collagen powder. It's all bleached, processed with chemicals and solvents of like how my nail grows how my skin is like more clear moisturized so i'm highly recommend for you to try it look at this beautiful morning yeah you know, the irony just stunningly beautiful russian girl with like perfect genetics because her parents ate a lot of meat is talking about vegetable juice collagen bs I'm, I'm a little I'm a little impressed. I'm a little impressed. I might have to Let's see how she ruins it. I'm, I'm a huge fan of this breakfast. I like this breakfast a lot. Maybe everything's not organic and maybe, you know, the eggs and the milk aren't the highest quality. But, you know, because she's so wealthy, I'm sure she's buying pretty decent food. And there are eggs, there is milk in, in the breakfast. So, so far, so good. I, I think this is an excellent choice uh, for breakfast for anyone, really, especially considering what the average standard American dieter is eating. But, you know, if we want to take it a step up and really critique and, and try to adjust the diet for specific health problems we, we get a little bit ridiculous but for now this is okay you know i don't want to talk about you know what's wrong with the tomatoes what's wrong with the avocado what's wrong with the bread because because she has the animal foods in this meal we're not really too concerned about the anti-nutrient content any any of the possible damaging things in the other foods i think this is an excellent breakfast what's up guys it's a lunch time i'm starving but i don't have much time because allegra has a balloon so, so she ate a pretty decent sized breakfast and she's still hungry and, and to me that's an indicator that you know when you don't have high quality eggs and the omega-6 ratios are high it makes you ravenous 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 that's why you know when these people go on the carnivore diet that's high in omega-6 or the keto diet that's high in omega-6 they're just stuffing their bodies because those vegetable seed oils stimulate your appetite artificially and you just cannot satiate it. Egg, eggs are one of the worst foods for that, which is, you know, one of the reasons I'm kind of against getting eggs unless you're basically growing them yourself. 30 minutes, so I really have to do something very quick. <sighs> Look at this girl. She bring all the stuff, all the stuff here from her playroom to eat. This is how she wants to eat. She wants to just bring all her merchandise here. Anyway. Okay, guys. So as I said, we're going to be doing really quick lunch. I love daily harvest. Daily harvest. I mean, the girl's very, very pretty, as you guys know. You know, the facial development is excellent. And that's because, you know, these Russians, Ukrainians, these models were raised on meat diets. You know, their mothers ate a lot of meat. They were breastfed, raised in a very, very high quality environment. But I guarantee you, their kids aren't going to be half as healthy as them because of stuff like this daily harvest nonsense. Now, I'm not going to say her facial development is perfect, but it's just about as good as you can get, especially compared to what people look like now on American diets the past few generations always comes to the rescue when I really have those days that I don't have time to cook and honestly like you don't have to do daily harvest all the meals it's just like I really have it in the freezer for those occasions when I don't have time to cook she wants dry apple so all I have to do is just basically add some broth to it and like a little bit stir it on the pan that's about it and this is today is tomatoes with potatoes, wild rice, beans, avocado, and mitake mushrooms. So all of this bowl is on this 330 calories, which actually really low. And I don't watch calories ever, but just for the information. So, I mean, I like this girl so far. You know, she, she had the animal protein for breakfast. She's not watching calories. This is probably a sponsorship. I, I would be surprised if she actually 
eats this. And I think her telling us like, oh, well, this is what I eat when I don't have time for lunch. That, that might be her kind of signaling in a subtle way that this is a sponsorship and she doesn't normally eat this. That being said, you know, the Daily Harvest stuff, I, I would consider it more of a side dish. You know, if it's vegetables, mushrooms, if there's no animal protein, and especially if it's not organic, you're going to have a lot of agrochemicals in there, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides. And when you consume a very high volume of these plant foods because there's not animal protein in the meal, that's where, uh, you know, it's, it's just not good for you. Better off having a piece of bread. Not gonna lie, I like to add an extra salt in my bowl because I love more of a saltier <laughs> flavor. I guess they want to keep it like healthy and it don't, they don't add as much salt. That is not a lot of food for her size. I like to eat the way Especially I like considering it. that's not calorically dense at all. Mm. Oh, that's hot. I burned my tongue. Okay guys, so this is my lunch. Sweet potato, wild rice, fava beans bowl. Mm, it's so hot, but I can't wait, I'm so hungry. I just love the convenience of how fast it is, how healthy it is, and it's actually really, really delicious. Most of their diets in Eastern Europe, as far as I know, it's heavily based around grains, meat, and dairy. Very, very, very calorically dense foods, and especially for her size, you know, she looks to be a lot taller and have a, a larger bone structure. You know, she can't be eating these vegetables and fruits and stuff. What do you need? decided to have a little dessert. I love to test new chocolates and like find new things. And especially I get super hyped up when they're local because I love supporting local. I know how hard it is to be in a food business and being like small and local because I've been through this. So I'm always excited to try the products and like if they're really good, I always, always spread the word about it. So I really wanted to share this conscious bar. It's 75 cacao and it's sweetened with organic dates. Love that. And this flavor, I only tried one flavor, rusted hazelnut, and it's bomb. It's vegan, paleo, keto, and like just the taste of chocolate that's just so good and rich. You know, on paper, I am a fan of chocolate because it has such a high mineral content, especially magnesium and copper, and people are really, really deficient in those. It is calorically dense, so, you know, girls like her that kind of eat too little will go skimp on chocolate, which is super high in fat, super high in sugar. So, you know, you can kind of get those calories in a very easy, approachable, and delicious way, but... The caffeine, the anti-nutrient content, whatever kind of agrochemicals are traditionally in chocolate. I mean, I mean, I can't, I can't sleep if I eat the stuff, you know. And, and a lot of people have that problem. So, if you're not super duper healthy, or if you notice any sort of irregularities in your sleep or how you feel after eating chocolate, then you, you probably shouldn't have it or just have it as a treat occasionally. You know, even if you go like organic, high quality, dark chocolate, still, still can cause a lot of issues. I mean, is this video reminding anyone else how they don't have a hot blonde Russian cooking dinner for them every day? What's up, people? Welcome back to my kitchen. It's dinner time. I definitely have a vibe today. I was in mood to light up the candles, pour myself a glass of wine, and just to get like inspired to cook because I was really close on canceling cooking and just like ordering in. And I think even Valerie saw on my face that I was so tired. He's like, maybe we should order in. I'm surprised these girls even bother filming these day of eatings. That's why so many models don't do it because the reality is they don't cook. They, they order in the whole time and there's nothing really to show you because they don't have any knowledge or understanding of nutrition. They're just naturally beautiful. And that's the big thing to take away from this video is the nutrition you receive in the womb as a child, prenatal, teenage years, all of that stuff is a thousand times more important than the diet you follow as an adult. Because this girl, regardless of what diet she followed her whole life, is probably going to live a pretty long time and be pretty healthy. Whereas someone else who is, you know, two, three generations later on soy formula is born with chronic health issues. That's the night and day difference, you know. And yeah, there's things you can do to fix your health as an adult and feel better. But unfortunately, a lot of damage has already been done. I was like, no, I actually crave so much this recipe that I'll make an effort to do it. So guys, today we're going to be making a salmon. It's actually a pan fried salmon. Some people might think it's not very healthy because it's pan fried, but honestly, I'm all about the balance and I like to eat the food that tastes good. I mean, 
Even so, the baked one can also taste good, but I really do love the crispy texture of like a salmon. And it's gonna be a pan fried salmon. On top, there will be like a celery, onion, capers, kind of vegetable bed. Would you say this or a pillow? I don't know how would you say it correctly. It's a really, really, really delicious recipe. Probably one of my favorite recipes for salmon. I am obsessed with salmon. I always love salmon. And I just like always look for different recipes of salmon. This one actually be. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't eat any meat all day. Of course, she's craving the B vitamins. Probably not so much the omega fatty acids. And the notion that pan fried salmon is unhealthy because it's pan fried, it, that's like really, really, really ridiculous, like kind of control freak health stuff oil. Like, I don't think any average person is going to say that, regardless of how the salmon is prepared, it would be unhealthy. Almost everyone views salmon as healthy been shared with me by my friends so it's super easy to cook and I highly recommend you to try it because I'm sure you will love it as much as I do so let's go guys a little tip for celery if you don't want to have like a very stiff kind of hard texture of a celery there is like a hair kind of I call it a hair basically a fiber that's on celery sticks so I just like to remove them probably not the right knife but I just like to remove them like this this way it's more delicate see how it removes I don't know uh, I mean, is this impressive to anyone else? Have we ever seen someone with actual reasonable culinary skills doing something like this in a day of eating video? Peeling the strings off their celery? Not many people know about this, but actually, it's a great tip that my mom taught me. Oh, see, traditional cooking. So for frying, I always love to use grapeseed oil. And uh, it's a vegetable seed oil. Arguably one of the worst oils you can use. So that's why it's so good for frying. Grapeseed, rapeseed is also canola oil same thing in america they usually call it canola oil not stick pan looks horrible honestly I, I would be willing to place a bet this might be the first time she's ever used this stove i love a lot of onions because it has it uh, look yes she has some culinary skills you know that her mom taught her all that type of stuff but i think since you know being the model in america i don't think she really cooks at all you know, maybe when she was a kid, she used to cook, but... Really nice. You know, it's a nice side dish, nice, nice flavor to have all those sautéed vegetables, capers, onions with the salmon. She's a decent cook. Except for the canola oil douse in the pan like that. That's, that's ridiculous. Okay, guys, so this is the perfection I cooked. Looks like this. So, you know, the salmon's probably farm-raised. I mean, even wild-caught salmon I'm not a fan of. The ocean is just so, so, so polluted right now. But honestly, compared to the other stuff we see, for the most part, this is excellent. I, I like it because, you know, she's a pretty good cook. She put a lot, lot of effort into it. I'm sure it tastes really delicious. And, you know, that's a big part of being happy, making sure you're eating food that tastes good every day. From the nutrition perspective, yeah, the omega ratios in farm salmon aren't that great. You know, she doesn't have a lot of calories. Maybe she's going to have another snack and still be hungry later. But... Uh, it, it really needs some type of starch or something else with it. You know, th this is missing that part of the meal. A lot of rice or potatoes or something. I also made a side of salad. Which Definitely not a salad. Rugula, tomatoes, avocado, dressed with olive oil, lemon, and salt and pepper. Super simple. Guys, this is my dinner. I'm off to cooking. Oh, I've already cooked soup, guys. <laughs> I'm off to eating. I really hope you enjoyed this cooking day with me. I always love... All right, so you know, the only bad thing I have to say is the amount of canola oil in that last meal. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if she ate between like two or three tablespoons of oil just in those sautéed vegetables and salmon. So up until that point, the day of eating wasn't too horrible. But if the average person could do one thing to improve their diet and health, it would be to remove the, the vegetable seed oils from their diet. You know, you guys have seen me eat organic potato chips sometimes when I'm lazy from Whole Foods, but... but even that the seed oils are just so horrible for you and you will feel so bad but obviously you know this girl with with pretty good genetics is able able to tolerate a lot of the negatives in the diet so hopefully uh, this was a nice change of pace with you guys we've met someone with half a brain so if you guys could please drop a like on the video leave a comment down below subscribe so that youtube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos therefore you guys can go to frank to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again for joining guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.